Hi, in this video we're going to start our series about creating real app from scratch using T3 stack. So first we'll create project using create T3 app CLI, then we'll set up authorization process using Discord and as final step for this video we'll create user model with admin and user roles for managing our content properly in the future. So let's start. So now we'll scaffold our project using T3 app CLI. So to do that, I go to create T3.gg, copy npm command, and let's see. Yeah, it requires the name. So let's give it a name, for example, type project, or maybe typing trainer. Um, it should be TypeScript. Let's select each technology and uh, yes, we want to initialize Git repository and do npm install. So I will shorten this process for you. So now we have our project installed and it suggests for us to do CD typing typing trainer. After that, we want to do npx prisma db push. So for us, it generates new database and by default it uses SQLite. And after that, we can do npm run dev to see actually the result. So let's check. This is how default T3 app looks like. Now let's add authorization. So we will use default Discord provider, but in future we'll add email provider and uh, Google provider. But for now, for simplification, we'll use Discord because it's easy to set up. So what are gonna what we are gonna do? Um, actually, we should just change our env variables in our project and uh, set up redirect URL. So let's go to your um, Discord developer portal. You should create here your application and you should get client ID and client secret. So after you get this, you should copy paste your client ID and your client secret. After you do this, uh, the only thing that is left, you should add redirect link a redirect URL. Uh, so actually in create3.gg in the next off section you have uh, uh, an example. So you can add like this and uh, this is for localhost 3000. If you have 3001 just do like this and you can save both of them or you can save just one. So now let's check how it works. So let's go to your project Let's type npm run dev and let's open our app. So for now, click sign in, sign in with Discord, authorize. And as you can see, we are signed in. So that's it about Discord authorization. The next part will be creating roles for our users. So to create roles for our users, we need to add such a string to our model. Sorry, not account model, but user model. So we should find our user model in the schema.prisma here. We find our user model and add such a string which is related to, to role. So I have to add that in future we'll change our main database to Postgres because now we're using SQLite. So in Postgres we will use enums and but now we have just hard-coded strings because it's more simple to show you all of this using SQLite which does not support enums. So when we added this role field to the user we can check how actually it works. So before I will show you how to open Prisma Studio to check your database locally. So when we 
open Prisma Studio. Let me show you. We run Prisma Studio in your terminal and here, uh, okay, let me check what is the error. Yeah, so now we, we see that we don't do not have user role. So probably we need to, uh, it, it, it happens because we already have a user um, from our previous authorization. So what we can do, we can run Prisma DB push. Let, let check it now. So yeah, now we have our uh, user with the role user. It, this user was created when we actually authorized previously using Discord. So this is Prisma Studio and actually here you can edit your fields on fly like this. So again in future we'll change this role from string to enum because now it's just hard-coded string value. So actually that's it um, for our current implementation. So in the next video, we'll create basic structure for our application, analyze what modules and database model bundles we should develop first. And I think we will start building our application. So see you soon.